Featherweight 2, Sunfire Board, Axiom Arc. Guys, I mean, unless it's a reroll game, I generally don't want to play Featherweight, so I'm not gonna play that. Axiom Arc is not very good. The only thing we can take here realistically is Sunfire Board. Sunfire Board is pretty strong early on. Uh, but is it good enough? Questionable. I'm gonna take it. Ooh, jeez. Alright. I can't level, huh? Um, but I can do this. But if I do that, then why would I level? Because I don't have any units to play. Um, but I can do this and level and play more units. I don't know if that was correct. <laughs> In all honesty, I do have a Last Whisper, but that's not very good on Yasu. I can give the LV LW2 to this guy for now. Just for now, we can sell him as soon as we find something better suiting for that item. Uh, I think we should win this, right? Okay. So we have a, four, a three duelist opener. I played an eight duelist game and I went eighth pretty much. In the previous round, I just messed up my econ completely. Um, so I have a bit of a PTSD from that. How many Yasuos can one person get? Uh, I think Camille is just a better holder for this item than Nasus. Okay. So this one become, can become either a Dragon Claw, an Ionic Spark, if you want to go like a hybrid build, or it can become a Runin's Hurricane, even. Um, you know, Last Whisper Runin's is a very typical sure shot build mode, or even a Balveth game. So we'll see what we get, and how we get on. This guy has Ascension, and the LeBlanc and Sona. Should be able to beat them before it triggers, though. Cool. Very strong opener, not gonna lie. Okay. There's also this to check the admin. Every five seconds your team gains stuff, combat starts your team gains stuff, and then every five seconds admins gain stuff. I could also play a Camille reroll. Potentially, with these. I think this is just a support augment, though. I don't have the best items for Camille reroll. Because uh, she's okay to use Last Whisper, but she's very squishy, so you need to be careful with it. She much more prefers uh, Bloodthirster and Titans. And other items like that. Or, well, an infinity edge as well, right? So, if you have a bow and the gloves for a Camille reroll, you would put it towards the Titans and the infinity edge, and not a Last Whisper usually. But this is fine. I have nine gold if I liquidate, so I don't sell here. Mm, let's see. I mean, that doesn't look terrible, but I, I it would give us an extra bow that we don't really need. Titans is fine, honestly. But then again, we would still be left with the bow. But like, what else am I going to take? This thing? No way, Jose. Because like, if I, if I take this, like, what do I build? An infinity edge is... Actually, an infinity edge. Never mind. Probably should have taken that. <laughs> it's okay. Um. Oh gosh. I mean, it's it's certainly this for now, right? I think. I'm gonna sell this because I'm not gonna play. Um. Okay, I'm gonna give these to the GP for now. As an item holder. I'm gonna sell the GP soon. Oh, 
very nice Nila heal, huh? Oh. Pike got one shot in mid flight. That's fine. I would be down to picking up this Ramus, honestly, but for now it's fine. Um, and yeah, don't worry, I know that GP's ability deals magic damage and not, you know, physical damage, but it's fine. It is A-OK -okay to have him hold the last Whisper for now. So this guy is Jesus, 4 underground with Samira on 2-6, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of lucky, right? He just... Yeah, can we ad admit that? That's kind of lucky. I think we're also very lucky, though, with Yasuo, too. That's a Vex, too, man. What the frick? Level 5. The guy barely rolled any gold. Any load? Nice. That was very important tool there. Kept our Alistair alive for a little bit longer. Just enough. Yeah. Good. Okay. So with these items, though, what do we play, right? Like, these, these seem like Belvet items, honestly. If I find a Belvet, I play her. For sure. And then we can play, like, Threats or, you know, a Strong Aegis and Defender Frontline for the Belvet. Sounds pretty good. This would become a um, Runins for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it looks m more and more like a Belvet game at the moment, right? This can also become Dragon Claw and other stuff still. There's a Dragon Claw. I mean, I'm not gonna not pop a Dragon Claw, right? So. Giving it to GP for now. Again, he's the main item holder at the moment, so he will benefit from the extra magic resin and everything for the time being. And health region as well. That's a strong, beefy GP right there. And then we can give this to someone like Neela, probably. Because at some point we will probably sell her. But for now, she's a good item holder for it. Okay, so let's let's come up with the plan. We have four duelists, two ox force. This was fine for stage two. It's definitely not gonna be enough on stage three. Stage three, we wanna go level six and roll down and find maybe Neela two or Alistair two, I think, and one unit that can maybe replace GP. Ugh, but I can only do that on four or on three five realistically, right? But I might just lose too much HP until then. We'll see. Because I don't want to grief my Econ completely here. And I'm relatively strong, right? So rolling down doesn't make that much of a difference. Unless I'm rolling down on 6. But if I roll down on 6, then I already spent you know, 14 gold or 12 gold or whatever gold on leveling. Okay. Irv's Grab Bag, Celestial Blessing, and a New Recruit. I mean, it sounds like a Celestial Blessing or a New Recruit. Honestly, both of these are pretty good. Celestial Blessing is very good for Belveth. New Recruit is just in general very good. An extra unit, right? I'm gonna take this for the healing. I think that's very useful here. If I level, I'm left with 43 and then I can play one more unit. I can't play anything that would give me... I'm gonna level uh, for the, for sure, and I'm gonna play this Jinx for the stun, the utility. So I was thinking that there's nothing in my shop currently that could, you know, give me any new synergies. But the utility from the Jinx stun is probably worth it, right? Okay, I'm fighting the guy. I am beating the guy. How many underground now? Still four? <laughs> I want to play a seven heist game, guys. It would be so much fun. I know you would enjoy that for sure. Five, stand 
I can play this for the ages. I can do that for sure. I can pick up the Riven. So again, I'm kind of down to playing the Defender Ages Belvet comp. I played that at the beginning. Well, no, at, not at the beginning, but at one, at one of the patches on 8.0 where Belvet was buffed. I was I was playing a lot of Aegis Defender Belveth. It was extremely strong. Maybe we can bring that back. There are some early videos on my channel of those games. It's pretty fun. It was pretty fun. Nice Yasuo ult. All right. Now, do I go level 7 immediately, or do I not? I, I would be down for a Belveth item. We do have Celestial Blessing, so we don't really need healing that much. I can maybe look for, like, an Infinity Edge, or something. Is there Warmogs? There's no Warmogs. So what I can look for is the Sunfire. Okay, I'll take the Sunfire and then the Sword for a potential Infinity Edge, right? Picking up another Defender unit here. Oh man, I want to go level 7. The reason for this is because we are already pretty strong. So we try to press the advantage with the extra unit that we found. And then if we still win, we can come back up to like over 50 gold. That's a Nico 2, by the way. On level 6, by the way. Um, we can come back to like 50 plus gold uh, by 4-1, right? Which would be huge. Because then we can start rolling for Belveth. Okay, Nico 2 is dead. Yes? Yes. Is that going to be enough? It is. How does he find Nico too, man? <laughs> Level 6 like that. Was a little bit scary and scuffed, but we came out ahead. I mean, I can... <sighs> if I pick these up, roll twice and find them, a pair, like find the pairs, I am... Super, super strong. Oh gosh, this guy beats me for sure. Yeah, he had Think Fast, so. He got a lot of very good units there. But otherwise, I'm just I'm just wasting a lot of gold if I pick them up and then I don't find them. I'm wasting four gold. Maybe I should have tried. Yeah, four gold is a little bit of... Like, it's a small risk for a big reward, right? Yeah, I should have done that. That's okay. Yeah, this guy beats us for sure, I mean. Losing the win streak, which is un unlucky, but it is what it is. I need to kill the Nar, no. Doesn't happen. Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. I needed to pick those up and, and roll for a pair. If I found the pair of those, any of those, I would have won, I'm pretty sure. Um, so I'm picking up the Defender and the Aegis units, by the way. Just, that's what I'm doing. I want Echo, Vi, and Alistair. And then Driven, Shen, maybe Garen. I actually don't even need that many, huh? Just Driven and Shen, probably. Okay. Alright, and... That gives us an Edge of Night, not something I really want here. Level 7. I'm down to waiting a little bit more, I think. No, 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 I have to roll. Okay, that's good. Okay, I mean, that's pretty good for now, I think. There's also Samira, man. I'm gonna pick up Samira for sure. 
Ramira is much like Belveth, but I do have the Titans, so Belveth is just better here. Okay, this guy has a... what the fuck? Holy sh... Ha what? He was rich, get richer. Yeah, I guess he just... That is crazy. The guy has Pantheon 2, Lucian 2, 2 Severe 2s, uh, sorry, Pantheon 3 and Lucian 3, 2 Severe 2s, Kaisa 2, and has 40 plus gold. Okay, um, I mean, there's Void Mother, but like, that's not super good. Back 4 Blood is much better. But I'm not gonna risk it for it, right? I'm just gonna take... Because it does give us the Belvet now, which we can then just play like this. Um, actually, this might still be better. Okay. At some point I'm selling Nila, right? So that's fine. Not gonna pop this because it depends on what we get on Carousel. Is this enough? Two Aegis, two Defender, two Star Guardian even. <laughs> we have a bunch of traits active, what the hell. Um, okay, so I'll, I'm gonna level 8 on 4-5 and then just roll down for my Bavet 2, I think. And then the rest of the units, basically. Again, we have Celestial Blessing, so it's pretty good. The whole Void Mother thing, I don't know, it's extra two units. I think that's fine. I hope the Voidlings actually get the Defender and the Aegis bonus as well. Do they? We can check. Because if they do, that's actually pretty pretty dope. I can pick this up for sure. I could also pick up Morgana, but I don't really want. Um Yeah, so Aegis, Aegis, Defender, Defender, and then Duelists and Star Guardians. These two need to go at some point. But this gives us Ox Force as well, right? So this is actually not too bad this way. It's actually a pretty solid team if you can two-star them. Actually a pretty solid team, yeah. Maybe Shan over the Star Guardian is probably better. Okay, do, do they get the armor and magic res? 25 and 20. Yeah, they do, actually, yeah. That's solid. This guy has a Mordekaiser. I mean, the previous guy had a fiddle, so... Shouldn't be super surprising. I'm just not dealing damage to them, huh? Okay, I'm looking for uh, gloves here to get Infinity Edge. Infinity Edge is good on Belvet, pretty good. Will also give us the um, Fiora 2 for now. Okay, here we level and then roll for our Belveth. Um, I think, on, if I remember correctly, I don't know where I heard this, but it kind of stuck in my mind that on average you need 27 gold on level 8 to roll for a 4 cost unit, I think. Um, per unit, right? But I, I'm not sure if that's actually correct or not. I just kind of remember it for some reason. There's Belveth. I mean, there's a Janna, man. I come. I'm not gonna skimp on a Janna here for sure. I play her. I'm not playing the Samiras then, and this is our team, I think, for the time being. So we do have the Belvet too, which is really good. We have three defenders at the moment, which we don't need. We only need two. Um, so we can drop one of the defenders in favor of three ages. Who is that defender? Oh, I didn't drop Rel. I thought I did. Ah, come on. I have my second screen on the left side, and when I hover the traits, I sometimes hover into the other screen, and then it just messes things up. Oh, okay, that's why I had the thing. Um, okay. 
but this way I can't play the Janna. Was it three ages over the Janna here? I mean, I can drop. I can drop this girl. Yeah. Definitely drop that girl. And then we can itemize this guy for now. Okay, I want to roll for two star team, right? Vi, Riven, Shen. I think those are important before we try to go level nine. Because I don't think we're stable enough yet. Yeah, I mean, this guy has Viego 2 and Nico 2, man. Holy shit. He's level 8. Interesting. Yeah, this Void Mother is not very good. I don't know why, why they didn't rework it. I don't love it at all. Like, I'm never excited when I see that augment. Just like, yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> Fine, I guess. You know? Okay, let's see. I mean... Uh, Another Dragon Claw? Probably not. It's a Shoujin, I think. Um, or a Hodge. Okay, I need it to roll here. I don't know what, what I'm doing. Okay, Shen. Found. I need Riven as well. I can decide on what to do next. Cool. There's the Riven too. Nice. Okay. So we are pretty stagged at the moment. Team comp vise. What we can also do is drop the ox force, but I like I have all my items on my my guy, right? So I don't really want to do that. This can become a bloodthirster, maybe. Or something. Or an edge of night on Leona. And now we can try to go level nine, I feel like. I can also just sell these to make more money. Because I'm not gonna play I'm not gonna go for the Alistair 3. For sure, I'm not doing that. Look at the little dudes. They are so shit. <laughs> useless. Absolutely useless. Okay, can I kill? Stun, huh? It's an Oxford's Garen, huh? Nice. Uh, but yeah, but I think we are still pretty good here. I mean, look, we have, you know, all the defenders and Aegis and everything in, so it's... Come on. Okay. <laughs> close fight. Very close. Picking up the extra Belvet for sure. Why not? We can also decide at some point to drop... <sighs> Defender, maybe? Because Defender right now is just 25 armor, which is not a ton of armor, right? So if you look at it, it's 49% magic uh, physical damage reduction. If I take him out, then it's 8% it's it's damage reduction and 25 armor. That's not a lot. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not a lot. So. Maybe an extra damage dealer is worth more. You know? I can't kill this guy. I don't have AoE. This guy has a million units. 
Oh, that TF, man. Hurts so much. Who is this? AR something? One, two, three. Yeah, that's a stacked comp, man. Oh, gosh. Mm, I don't want Emblem. What do I even want here? I guess just this, maybe. Um, let's see this one. That's a Zanya's, if I ever seen one. Yeah, I'm down for these items on this girl. I think that's fine. I think that is fine. I don't know if I should be griefing my positioning like this. Is it better this way? Mm, actually, probably not, but we'll see. Okay, we have 37 HP, which is not too bad. We can go level 9 for sure, right? Vex 3. Oh god, Zack 3 as well from the Vex, right? For the uh, Rift Walkers. I want to play another Rift Walkers game at some point. Maybe do like a Vex reroll or something. Would be fun. But I mean, this guy has three stars, but they don't itemize them for some reason. Don't know what that is. I mean, he itemized the Nunu. Eh, I mean, it's a five cost, I know, but I don't know. I wouldn't do that personally, not in a team like this. Okay, so next fight we will probably lose. This guy has six Garens. <laughs> Uh, okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We're gonna go level 9 on 6 1. Uh, this way, Leona can maybe kill the Garen. I'm, you know, Hook doesn't do anything to me, so that's good. I'm stunned. Uh, okay, my targeting was a little bit off with the Leona there. Yeah, I, I need to split the aggro between Leona and Belveth. This makes no sense, because by the time Leona starts casting her ult, Belveth kills the actual unit, so... No bueno. Oh my god. I got one shot. That was interesting. Now that was interesting. So again, I used this comp a lot to, to climb in diamond. And it was actually very effective. It, as in like a consistent top four. Right? You just play Balvat with defenders and ages. Usually it's one or the other depending on what the lobby has more of. Maybe I'll just drop... Um, maybe I'll just drop Defender, actually. We'll see what we find. It's always a TG here. I need to swap those two. Uh, I'm gonna play the Urgot, I think. Over the Syndra. Now Syndra gets this. For this fight. Oh my god. I can't. Okay. Belvet is healing back up. Not enough though. This guy is really strong, man. He has a, not a legendary soup, but like a four cost soup. Yeah, this guy is really, really strong right now. 
Okay. Okay, I think I dropped the defender. Do I? I mean, I have one star units, man. Um, I don't have the gold. Who's this? This guy. I don't know. I would play Echo and Aatrox over the defender units, which I probably... Maybe I should have... Like one cost over the two costs, but if I sell the two costs, maybe I can find the three co uh, two cost of my new units, right? Okay, I think we're doing fine for now against this guy. This is the ghost, right? Yeah. Okay. I mean, he got knocked out. It's a top two, man. It's a top two so far. Okay. Yeah. I mean... Is this guy even magic damage? Yeah, he is. There are two fiddlesticks there. Yeah. That is... Pretty good, I would say. Let's go! Let's fucking go. Yeah, Leona is targeting the Garen. Perfect. Yeah, that's that's GG. I mean, the guy has a million HP still, so... He can still win for sure. Uh, but not this fight, so... He has no money, though. Two Oxforce Crests. Okay, how much damage? 19. He has 20 HP left. Um, what can we find here? Uh, something for Fiddle, maybe? Giant Slayer sounds pretty good. Uh, so does Archangel, right? I'm gonna take the Giant Slayer here. He, had, he took Spellslinger Crest. Interesting, okay. okay. Now we just need to position against him. Cool. Oh, that's a Soma 3, huh? And the Spellslinger... A Spellslinger guy. I'm just gonna... Is he gonna move? I mean... Yeah, he moved. Okay. Well... Good for him, I guess. I don't know if that's gonna be enough, though. Please target the Garen. Nice. Leona again on the Garen. Doing work. That's really important that we take out Garen with Leona, because if we do that, we can actually win the game. I think that's GG, probably. Or maybe not, because the... Yeah, the Mordecai is evolved. One more fight! Oh god, the last fight. Kinda nervous. I'm kind of nervous right now. I don't have a shroud at the moment. Okay, what are you doing, mate? Uh, sold that Mordekaiser. I'm gonna give the items over to someone else, I guess. But you have no gold, so... Okay, so gave the items back to the Mord, practically. Shit, I needed to move my ergots. That's okay, I think we still... Still might win. Leona should be focusing Garen. Yeah, perfect. I think this is still GG, man. Very good game. Very, very good game. Even with the uh, <laughs> goddamn Void Mother, of all things, huh? But we won. Um, yeah. So it's, it's, again, like, this is a cozy comp that I came up with, kind of, back when Belved got her first buffs. Uh, and it's been working out fine since then. Anyways, that was a good game. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a comment uh, for the algorithm, and consider subscribing. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.